so what's up everybody today in this video we are going to generate a Fibonacci series in C programming language so I have given here the example of Fibonacci series in this series as we can see that the number is equal to the sum of the previous two numbers okay so let us assume the first starting number 0 and 1 then this number here this number here 1 is obtained by adding the this previous two numbers that is 1 plus 0 is 1 Okay. Again, this 2 is obtained by adding its previous two numbers that are 1 plus 1 that is 2. Okay. Similarly, this 3 is obtained from this 2 plus 1. Okay. So, let's start. So, let me define some variables. Okay. So, I have defined here three variables. This T1 is the first term. T2 is the second term and T3 is the third term. Okay, so to generate the series, we are going to use the for loop. Okay, and let me define another one variable and this and will be the number of terms. Okay, so up to what number of terms we will generate the Fibonacci series. Okay, so this number will be taken from the user is enter the number of Terms. Okay, so scan percent D and percent. Okay, so we are uh, we have taken the input from the user that will be used to define the number of terms. Okay, so let me use a for loop for int i equals to zero, i less than equals to n, i plus plus. Okay. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to first print the first term, okay? So, first of all, what we want here is 0. So, 0 is stored in the variable t1. So, we are printing here the value t1, okay? So, let me give a comma and this one, space, okay? So, that it will, the number will be um, separated, okay? So, and what we are going to do is now, this third term, here will be the sum of these two terms t1 and t2 okay so what we can do is t3 equals to t1 plus t2 and we are going to now substitute the value okay we are going to substitute the value of t2 in t1 and the value of t3 in t2 okay so we have now substituted the value okay so the t3 is obtained by adding the t1 and t2 and the t1 now will be the value of t2 okay similarly the t2 will take the value of the t3 okay so that's it i think uh, let me explain you a bit more here okay so here we are going to print first t1 okay so t1 here is first 0 okay so it will print a 0 okay now in this here this step t3 is t1 plus t2 okay t1 plus t2 is equals to 0 plus 1 so what will be the value it will be 1 okay so remember the t3 is 1 here now now in this step what we are doing is t1 equals to t2 so the value of t2 is stored in the value of t1 the value of t2 is here what 1 okay so the value of t1 here is now what the value of t1 here is now what 1 okay again in this step the value of t2 is now what t3 okay t3 was obtained by adding t1 and 2 and the value was 1 okay so again it will go up okay it will print the t1 so the value of t1 is 1 okay now it will print 1 okay and here again t3 is equals to t1 plus t2 so t1 plus t2 now the t1 here was 1 okay and the t2 here was 1 okay sorry the t1 here was 1 and t2 here was 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so there t3 we got the value 2 okay now in this step so what will happen the t1 the value of t2 is go to the value t1 so again the t1 here will be 1 and the value of t3 is going to t1 the t3 value was 1 plus 1 that is 2 so value here will be again what 2 okay again we will go this step okay and in this step the percent t is the value of t1 okay the value of t1 we obtain is again it will generate a 1 so in this way it will continue until 
the value of i is less than or equal to the value of n. The n is coming from the user. Okay, we are taking the input from the user, right? So let me run this. Okay, uh, let me try this for 10 pump. Okay, so as you can see, it generates the series 0, 1, right? The first two value. So 0 plus 1 is here, 1. Again, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 3, add, and so on. Okay, so that's it. If you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe.